does it? Thank you. Um, I'm gonna get myself together after Beckham goes on for a nap. We have a fun day planned today. My friend and I and her baby, he's about a month younger than Beckham, uh, we are gonna go to the mall and do some Christmas shopping. So, this will be Beckham's first time at that mall. Um, it's about a 20 minute drive from us. And it's an indoor mall as opposed to our local one that's like 10 minutes away, but it's outdoors. And it's, I think it was like 30 this morning and it's only supposed to get like in the 40s. So, no thank you. So.
sun's like in a weird angle, but we just got done at the mall and we did some serious damage. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll show you guys everything I ended up getting when we get home. Oh my gosh. So I went Christmas shopping and mistakes were made. So let's just dive right into it. We'll start with what I got for my son. So my son Beckham will be a year old two days after Christmas. So not only is it hard to find something and decide what, you know, when to give it to him, Christmas or birthday, which I feel like my family has always struggled with that with me because I was born December 20th. So, but they always made it a point to um, separate Christmas and birthday. Cause you know, it's not, it's not my fault I was born five days before Christmas and it's not my son's fault he was born two days after. So we're always gonna make a point to separate them. Um, they are two different celebrations so um, I decided to get him some cute little puzzles and this one is just the alphabet I think it's super cute um, I know it's a little old for him right now but I think it'll be fun um, just to have and just start playing with and then I thought these dinosaurs were super cute there's big chunky puzzles I feel like they're good first puzzles and then what else? I got him this cute little thing. It's called Pound a Peg. Um, it comes with a hammer and it's just one of those, like it reminds me of whack-a-mole. Um, it's just super cute. He has one kind of like it, but it didn't come with a hammer. I, I bought it off some lady off uh, Facebook and it didn't include a hammer. So he has fun just pounding it. So I felt like he would have fun pounding that hammer. So up next, what else? Um, for my mom, I got her these cute little socks. She loves cats. <laughs> so I thought these socks were super cute. It says, I like cats more than people. I hope she's not watching this. Um, and then I also got her something else. It's a cute little mug and it has like a breakfast tea set. Not a tea set, but like it comes with a tea and like, I don't know. I don't drink tea, so... I don't really know, but it was just really cute, so I got her that. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, my husband and I always fight over the iPhone charger. So, I grabbed him one of these for his stockings, and of course I picked one up for myself. These never last long, they're super cheap, but... I mean, it was like, what is it, $3.99? So, I grabbed those. And then... Um... For my sister-in-law, I got her a really, let me see if I can open it first, really pretty necklace. At first I was like, ooh, I really like this, but I need to remember I'm shopping for other people, not me. But I did not leave Francesca's without getting this really cute um, necklace. So our last name is Crawford. And so I found a cute little C and it came with like another little choker. So I thought that was cute. And um, yeah. And then I also, for my sister-in-law, I got her this cute little set from Bath and Body Works. It comes with a candle, um, a fragrance spray, and um, some body lotion, body cream. Yeah, I thought that was a really cute idea. This was the same price as a three wick candle. So I was like, Heck yeah, this is way better. Um, I'm a, I love candles, but I can't justify spending $27 on a candle. Um, I know some people can, but I just I never can. So, oh, that was super cute. Trying to see if Beckham is asleep yet. He's not, almost. <laughs> Let's see what else I got. Oh, so we found this super cute new store. Um, and I'm always drawn to the sale rack. And I found this super cute dress. It like, it's one of those high lows that has shorts in the front. Okay guys, this was originally $36, marked down to 75% off. So it was $9 and like 80 cents or something. I was like, okay, even if I never wear this, I'm buying this because like, how can you beat that deal? It was $9. So, 
I thought it was super cute. I'm probably gonna wear it this summer. So that's how I justified it. <laughs> I'm terrible. What else? I think, yeah, I think that's it. I just have a few, oh, I grabbed one of these um, at Cabela's. I thought it was super cute. It's a little bubble machine or, well, I mean, it's a finger trigger, but I thought it was super cute. Beckham is super into bubbles right now. He's like mesmerized by them. So I thought that would be a cute stocking stuffer. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas for one year olds for gifts. I don't know what else to get besides like big chunky puzzles, like interactive stuff. So it would really help me out if you guys could leave some comments down below and, and give me some ideas because I'm kind of blanking on what to get my son. So yeah, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get to wrapping all this. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I can't really put presents under the tree this year because my son will get into all of them. So I'm gonna have to find a little sneaky hiding spot. 